welcome to the very beautiful world of debating. Finally, I'm back to the board, back home, and I can do everything I want again. Play Mario Kart, make Legos, play with these guys. There are so many Legos too. Oh well, let's just see how well you can do any of them. Because right now, we're going to go back in the debate style. And this moment, we have restarted it. Oh, we not restarted, but we have continued it. First debate topic on the board from today and on to teenagers work at the weekend. Well, that's your problem too, because lots of people are actually asking this. I'm not saying it's your problem, also I did say that. Um, what I actually meant was this. Number one, there's lots of problems with this debate too, and well, well the problem is this, that lots of people are saying that teenagers shouldn't work at the weekend. Well, others say teenagers should work during the weekend, too. Well, what am I supposed to say? Go to work at the McDonald's? Or just lounge around playing, mu playing music or making music or drawing books at the same time like Mark Morales? Um, yeah, that's, that's going to be something else to actually talk about. Well, let's see. Let's go first with the story. Now, what is a Saturday job or a weekend job? Well, a Saturday job is a job that teens do part-time during the weekend, usually a Saturday, to do their stuff to earn a little bit of extra money. Their parents also did that too. Probably. Not mine. Sort of. Oh, well, back to the topic of this is that also, it means that these people kind of earn their own little extra money. Like these folks working at McDonald's here. In the UK, uh, the, um, my source is mainly from the, the BBC and the uh, other UK places. Well, in the UK, kids, which I mean by teenagers, can start working by the time they're 13. And then they can work only part time though. They can only work full time once they are leaving university or school or college, and that varies depending on wherever you are. The UK also varies where, which part of the UK you're in. It also kind of depends on, also it kind of depends on which country you're at, which is when the like Chinese people start school earlier than Koreans, so that kind of makes them leave school at an earlier age, which is why I should be in the fifth grade in Korea that last year. Well, here I'm in sixth grade. However, some businesses say that lots of kids come out after they leave school, they come out as people who aren't ready for the working world. Unless you have, like, keep been doing this for years and years. So now let's start the big debate. Number one! You have to earn money! Wait, I'm not affirmative. Okay. There we go. Earn money. This is the best part of the whole thing because you get to earn your own little money that you can spend on anything. I mean, usually if you get like about $40 or like you have to earn less or let's say $20 or something or so and you earn that much for a few more weeks, then boom! You can buy literally anything you like one thing and then go ahead buy another thing go buy another thing buy another thing buy another yeah it's gonna get complicated however if you earn money these weekend jobs for these teenagers are actually going to be a good thing for you because it will also help you boost your own little experiences uh, well i'll be number three but number two it would be to give valuable experience if you keep on working at a part-time job at the weekend unless you don't speak the language then you're gonna have a valuable experience for the time you start working out there. I mean, I'm sure university people, I mean, even university people are allowed to get jobs, but they're only allowed to get part-time jobs, which is a rule, at least in the UK. There's nothing that's said that's illegal in other countries. Also, it's also kind of hard to actually differentiate which one, what age a person is, because back then people just tricked, pe tricked the business people to thinking that they're actually up for 40, 50, like 16, when they're actually 15, or 14, or somehow even 12. I mean, they just needed the extra hand, and they just needed to work, and they just need someone to pay for very low wages. 
Number three, I'll be giving personal development. It'll develop your own little skills. It'll get you to develop your own little skills inside of you. It'll let you have your uh, social skills, your communication skills, maybe not your social skills, depending on where you are. But all those skills that you're probably going to need, like pizzazz, creativity, whatever job you're going to get, that, that might need it. And here I am in a negative position. Number one, kids, or maybe you should say teenagers, don't need to do the same part-time jobs as they did, as their parents did. Whenever, well, uh, whatever they did, they do not need to do the same types of jobs. Because so that their parents don't need to force them to do a wicked job because their parents forced them to do a wicked job. Just learn some money. Now, number two. That will include longer working lives. Since teens today have longer lifespans, that will mean that they will have longer working lives. Isn't that right, Claude? <laughs> yeah, I'm right. And number three, that will mean that they'll have more time to actually focus on other things that are very important to them. Like, uh, let's see. Schoolwork and hobbies. Which is a good thing because my hobby is caring for this pet, which will get me responsibility to probably do some lots of other things too. Maybe. Okay, okay, you don't you definitely don't like this. You can go now. Ta da. And that is basically everything that I can say about this topic right now. And that's my point of view. Now, time for the results. Hopefully it'll be my victory! Victory! And as you can clearly see, the majority of the people, and not your animus, but still the majority of the people say that teenagers should work at the weekend! Mother! Ah! Oh, I hate it hot! Why am I negative? Oh well, I guess I'll see you guys soon enough. So until next time, should I know peace? Please like. If there's one like, I'll get, keep on the debate. And there'll always be one like. Nice. Bye -bye.